Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny and we are continuing the journey through Deja Vu record by Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. So far, spoiler alert, I enjoyed every song. It's brilliant record and I cannot wait to hear more. So uh, apart from inviting you to uh, subscribe, like and leave me a comment, what should I check next by these uh, musicians? Uh, let's just get into it as soon as possible because this stuff is amazing. Thanks for watching. In my mind, I still need a place to go. All my changes were there. Blue, blue windows behind the stars. Interesting one, uh, definitely yeah, I recognize uh, Neil here uh, on the lead vocal and um, um, I was very uh, surprised to hear such uh, such style of the back vocals, it sounded like uh, something much more from, from the, I don't know, maybe even 90s but I guess those guys were just copying or getting inspired uh, by this. And again, I, I made this comment before, but I I'm curious, was this the record or the era where this uh, uh, these ideas have been created? Like, 
uh, back vocals such as these, or does this uh, go even even back uh, in the past? If you know that, please let me know. I'll be definitely interesting uh, interested to to understand how the development of uh, back vocals has been um, uh, developing through through the years through music history. Um, I really enjoyed the piano on this one, uh, although there was a, a very, very interesting sound coming from a guitar, like a wave, uh, wavy sound, uh, apart from the, um, uh, the slide guitar, but, uh, there were some, some effects, uh, that I didn't hear, I mean, most of the 60s music that I heard, or 60s rock music that I heard, I'm from Frank Zappa. Uh, and I I did hear some other records, uh, mostly by Allman Brothers, and uh, probably some others that I cannot recall now. But um, from, from the top of my head, I cannot recall that any of them uh, had this type of effect in those uh, early records. Uh, really really sounds like they could easily like if you if you play me this song and ask me which year is this maybe the vocal would um lead me to the 60s but uh, just the instrumentation and the, the quality of the production honestly speaking this this can easily be uh from any any decade it sounds so so good while with a lot of records from that time period, you can hear how, uh, the vintage sound, but this is like a timeless, timeless production, uh, great, great quality. Anyhow, uh, I was uh, I was starting to speak about the piano. Uh, what I like about it is how it goes um, on 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 both sides of the specter of, uh, of uh, music notes. So you get those really high, high, uh, high tones in, in one moment, and then it goes back down to those more um, deeper, uh, deeper notes. And um, what's also interesting is how, how uh, the pianist is playing, but in, in one moment it, it kind of stops stops the melody it doesn't go through the whole i don't know how you call it like a whole idea or a whole whole part but it kind of stops like it's being uh, paused and uh, played uh, all, all over again but sounds very natural and really fits the song and creatively yeah you you can hear every instrument is just uh, bringing so much into the picture and i really uh, really enjoy this so I believe there's one more track on the side A, and I cannot wait to hear that again, as, um, or sorry, not again, but uh, to hear it uh, next. Until then, thank you so much for sticking to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the music uh, that I have chosen for, for these new videos. And uh, until next time, take care and bye bye.